Now let's focus on the job manager. It plays a critical role in Flink's architecture and has several responsibilities. Resource manager. This component manages resource allocation in the cluster, including task slots. Flink supports different resource managers for various environments and resource providers. Dispatcher. It provides a REST interface to submit Flink applications and starts a new job master for each submitted job. The Flink web UI runs within the dispatcher to provide job execution information. Job master, responsible for managing the execution of a single job graph. Multiple jobs can run concurrently in a Flink cluster, each with its own job master. Now, let's explore task managers, which are also known as workers. These components execute tasks and handle data stream buffering and exchange. There must always be at least one task manager. Task managers are divided into task slots, each representing a subset of resources. The number of task slots determines how subtasks are isolated from each other. For distributed execution, Flink chains operator subtasks together into tasks, with each task executed by one thread. This chaining optimizes performance by reducing thread-to-thread -thread handover overhead. I will explain this deeply right now. When Apache Flink processes tasks across multiple computers, it does something really smart. Instead of handling each tiny part of a task separately, it groups them together into larger tasks. Think of it like solving a big puzzle by first putting together smaller pieces. Now each of these grouped tasks is assigned to a single worker, like a specialized team member. This worker is responsible for doing that specific task. This approach is super efficient because it reduces the need for constant talking and sharing between different workers. It's similar to how it's easier to work on a project with a team where everyone has their own role, rather than everyone doing everything separately. This efficiency boost means that Flink can process data faster and with less delay, which we call latency. And here's the cool part. You can change how these tasks are grouped and connected based on what your application needs. It's like having the power to adjust the gears on a bike to go faster or slower. In the figure below, you can see an example where a data flow is split into five smaller tasks, and each of them gets its own worker, thread, to work on it. This teamwork approach helps Flink handle lots of data smoothly. Now, let's recap. Flink consists of a job manager and multiple task managers. Each task manager is a JVM process that may execute one or more subtasks. Task slots control how many tasks a task manager accepts and represent a fixed subset of resources. Slot sharing allows subtasks from the same job to share slots, optimizing resource utilization. The job manager is responsible for controlling the execution of a single application. It takes an application, creates a task execution graph from the defined job graph, manages job submission and the job lifecycle, and allocates work to task managers. The resource manager, on the other hand, handles task slots and relies on an underlying orchestrator like Kubernetes or Yarn. A task slot represents a unit of work executed on a CPU. Task managers are responsible for executing the actual stream processing logic. And in a cluster, there are multiple task managers. The number of slots on each task manager determines how many tasks it can execute. And task managers register their slots with the resource manager once they are started. Lastly, the dispatcher exposes an API for submitting applications for execution and hosts the user interface. Importantly, only one job manager is active at a given point in time while there can be multiple task managers available in the cluster. And that's a wrap for this video on Flink architecture. You've gained a solid understanding of how Flink manages compute resources and executes streaming applications. In the next video, we'll explore more advanced concepts and dive deeper into Flink's capabilities. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.